Welcome to another edition of The Naked Truth. My name is John Singletary. And my name is Ramon Rome. We want to thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, and we want you to get as many additional friends to do so. We would like for you to take a look at www.jfrinc.org and uh, to join us in our fight to uh, advocate due process and equal protection of the law. Today our topic is going to be uh, the theory of proportional assignment. What we're talking about is parity. We're talking about in America, the United States of America, the melting pot where based on, predicated on the census taking for races that not only jobs but contracts and resources are proportionally assigned parity throughout the country for those specific races. If, let's take for example, City of North Charleston. City of North Charleston is 49% black, 40% white, but blacks receive less than 10% of the contracts. Blacks receive less than 15% of the jobs. We're talking about a $66 million job by budget for salaries, wages right. and salaries alone. We get roughly 10 million dollars. That means they get 60, uh, 56 million dollars in salaries, whereas we receive less than the 10 million and we pay 50 percent of the taxes. And also the higher wage earners. The higher wage earners. You know, we're we, probably like maybe five percent of the higher three, wage earners. It's almost three to almost one. Three, yeah. It's about three to one. Right. When we take a look at the contracts, we see where with contracts, they get the majority, 90 plus percent of the contracts. Just recently, November last month, uh, one company got $898,000 for printing in one month. You go take a look at the website, you look at that company, the staff is all white. And so the money is being dumped into their community. Now, we're not making a black-white issue. It is a black-white issue because they have done that. Right. Factually, with the funds. When it comes to resources, we see that uh, they'll spend thirty thousand dollars on a center in the black neighborhood, but yet in the white neighborhood they'll spend a hundred and thirty thousand. They have dog parks that cost more, where dogs literally go and take a dump, take a crap, that cost more than what they spend on a community center in the African American neighborhood. Now, should we be upset about it? Of course we should, but we should channel that frustration, we should channel that energy into voting for someone else, someone who is willing to say, we're going to step in and proportionally assign. Mm -hmm. That needs to be the same thing done in the judicial system. Right. The same thing that happened when they had the teachers uh, in the education system, there was a moratorium that was placed on hiring white teachers and until they hired enough black teachers to proportionally um, equate with what the uh, student body was. Mm -hmm. And so the same thing needs to happen in the judicial system, the same thing needs to happen when it comes to voting for someone of office. If they're not willing to pledge and to do that, listen to, no listen to nothing else they have to say because that's the single largest thing that will impact your life positively mm -hmm. is that if you require to get my vote mm -hmm. that you have to do proportional assignment of three things, of jobs, contracts, and resources. Mm -hmm. Now, after we get that settled, and we understand that that's better not change, mm -hmm. then we can deal with some of the other things. Right. Of course, a lot of the other things are going to work themselves out mm -hmm. anyway. Right. Because, <coughs> well, go ahead. Um, the, the proportion of, the, uh, the, we believe in a theory of proportional assignment because it will answer um, some of the ills that are set, especially in the African American community. Uh, when we're talking about jobs, and we often hear about the job, the unemployment rate in the United States for African Americans are like 12 percent. That's not true. If you think about the 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 U6 number, which also incorporates the um, uh, they call it the late participation rate, blacks are not doing as well as we would think. You look at the wealth gap; it'll answer. It will be a solution to those issues. Look, black-owned businesses hire probably 60% of their employees are black. Not saying that they don't hire you know, whites, 60%. So we need more black businesses 
so that we can employ more employ mm -hmm. more black people. That's less black people that are on that is in poverty because the poverty right now the rate is at 27 percent. Less people in poverty, more people that are on that are paying taxes, more people that are more black people that are. Uh, employed more black people that are, that are becoming met marriage today I was listening to a news program and they were talking about um, Patrick Moynihan the attorney that that made that uh, um, uh, that spoke about the importance of having fathers in the home well the reason why we don't have as many fathers in the home because we can we can all look back to the economy of, the, of that community they're not getting married because look here, if he don't have no job, who wants to marry a man that ain't got a job? They don't. So proportion assignment. No one should. No. You don't want you, I don't want my daughter to marry someone right. who doesn't have one. Proportion of assignment <laughs> would be the answer to that because it would give the opportunity to those people who hadn't who don't have those opportunities. It will level many playing fields. Something else, John? It will level many playing fields. We didn't mention about this, but also it would also answer the question in, in failing schools and because you we, those resources that those resources can go into better education of in those areas. And I can keep going back to North Charleston because I know I know North Charleston. Yeah. So, but know, North Charleston is just, just a simple, it's just an example to it's it's almost identical to Ferguson and a lot of other places. places, right? But with North Charleston, for instance, when we take a look at the study that North Charleston did, the first thing they did was they backed out backed out all of the organizations that had no blacks in them. Mm -hmm. Now those organizations, those departments, um, almost every one of them. The average salary is $100,000 plus. Go figure. Okay? Right. And so when you do incorporate it and then you divide it between administration mm -hmm. and the workers and they take a look at that, that's almost all white mm -hmm. as well as making $100,000. Mm -hmm. When we take a look at what is left, mm -hmm. in North Charleston the statement is made that blacks are good enough to do a little recreational stuff. Yeah. And to hey, dump the trash. Dump the trash. That's it. Wait a minute. You can go ahead and code enforce because we know that the people that you're enforcing the code on are minorities. Exactly right. Yeah. And so that's a double tax yeah. on the minority community. Yeah, absolutely. The proportional assignment gets to the heart of the matter. It does. That you are following the money. You're saying that if we are 50% of the population, we should have. then we should have 50% of the jobs, 50% right. of the contracts, 50% mm -hmm. of the resources spent in our community. Right. Otherwise, what happens is your community is positioned for what I consider a hostile takeover. It is. You've got low incomes in your community. What happens like it happened in Liberty Hill, where you say, well, some white decides, oh, I'm going to go in Liberty Hill. Uh, I'm tired of driving out to the suburbs and I'm going to buy me a piece of property and fix it up. Then the next one says, and then before you know it, four or five say the same thing. Now they fix the property up because they can get the loan or they have the three to one income. Mm -hmm. Now the tax base starts to go up on the property. Mm -hmm. As a result, the people who are already there, it's their community, who they can't have a low paying job, exactly. can't afford to continually right. pay the taxes. Right. And they so get, now, the houses are usually paid for. Right. right. So right. now, other people can come in mm -hmm. and literally take your property right. because of the tax base right. that's been used right. in order to increase to run you out. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what they did down in downtown. downtown Charleston. But right. at any rate, that is the kind of thing, the hostile takeover that allow, is allowed when one, you don't get um, sufficient jobs, contracts and resources, even though if you're 50% of the population, you're paying half of the taxes. Mm -hmm. So that is why it is so important for in the upcoming elections that people say, hey, listen, a lot is wrong. We understand that. But at this point, the only thing that matters is if there is a pledge and we see that there is going to be parity proportional assignment based on the population. That is the only thing that we're going to consider. Mm -hmm. Now after we get that taken care of, then we can talk about some other things, but that is the only thing on the table. Right. And if you if you cannot fulfill that promise within the first year, mm -hmm. then don't worry about another election. Yeah. Because it's not going to be important. Right.
Now they, that's the kind of thing that we have to require mm, of mm, not only right. cities and the position for mayor, but we have to do the same thing for our congressmen, our representatives. Right. That hey, listen, if you're not willing to do that, right. then I'm not willing to vote. Because they're federal, they're federal contracts as well, not just cities. Exactly they're right. We contract. need to make voting right. synonymous with proportional assignment. Right. If they're not willing to do that, sorry. That would answer the question um, for uh, many of the hills in the in the in those deprived areas sure. in the private parts of the. You know, there's a lot of other things that that, right. that also have to be considered, mm -hmm. but just balling it down like. First thing they're going to say is, well, um, there's uh, not enough qualified blacks. Well, we know that not to be true because <laughs> we you got at, you got unqualified yeah. whites that are in those positions. Exactly right, in a lot of instances. But that at least is the starting point that yeah. we need to look at. We now, know. within your own community, if we're getting forty percent of the contracts if we're white, mm -hmm. then within our community we can disperse it any way we want. Right. If you're getting 50% if you're black and however you disperse it, that's fine. Right. That is the kind of thing that needs to happen mm -hmm. in order for America to become what it's supposed to be. And like I said, including the judicial system. Right. Because the judicial system, which is all important, has to change and proportional assignment is extremely important there. It's more important there than probably any place else. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the kind of thing that we have to okay. require. So with proportional assignment, that, that's what we want across the country, to see that people in the upcoming elections vote based on parity, equality. If they're not willing to give it to us in the court system, if they're not willing to give it to us in jobs, then we have to attach our vote to it right. and simply force them to do it. We have to demand that the only thing my vote goes for and the only person my vote will go to the candidate. is the candidate who pledges proportional assignment. And with that apportion, proportional assignment, then within one year they have to do it. Now, people are going to say, oh, well, you can't do that. Certainly they can do that. They put every effort into making sure that you don't get sure your right they amount. Can, they do so that often. Put the effort into making sure you do. Right. We can put a man on the moon. Mm -hmm. hey, they can, can uh, put in a, a few months. Right. In a few a few months and a few weeks, they can take a disease, not in America, in Africa supposedly, that the CDC has a patent for mm -hmm. and come up with a cure for it, mm -hmm. they can do like that. Ebola. Right. They can do that. But yet, you're saying that we're so dumb mm -hmm. in America that we can't come up with proportional signs. Right. Right. Well, um, we're going to have to close this out. Close no, out. Number one thing, you gotta vote. You must vote. And vote, as John said, vote for the candidate that is gonna be for proportionate assignment. Um, like to thank you for watching this video. Um, please uh, subscribe to this uh, channel and please visit us at www.jfrinc.org um, as we are trying to build our membership up. Is this is this cost of $36 annually um, as we seek to make our justice system fair. We need to get due process um, before the law. Our justice system is not fair as it stands today and uh, if you understand it, if you have any experience with it, you know it. This has been another edition of The, the Naked, Naked Truth.